But what caused that main incident to happen? Yes, um, Dennis Hagel went off the track and couldn't stop, but the sausage curb. The sausage curb on the inside of Club Corner um, forced that car to go up in the air and then hit uh, Roy Nassani at head height. Now, if that sausage curb wasn't there, it would have just gone into the side. It would have been a horrible crash still, but it wouldn't have gone airborne. He only went airborne because of that sausage curb. And it's not the first time we've seen incidents uh, from sausage curbs. And we've seen injuries from um, sausage curbs. Uh, Abby Eaton, that Cota, you know, she uh, she severely damaged um, her spine at, at, the, at Cota, you know, with a compression fracture in, in the spine. And you've got to think back to, uh, as well, Alex Peroni in Formula 3 at Monza. That, a huge incident caused by a sausage curb. So the design of the sausage curb and the placement of them, I think, is incredibly important. And I think there are some that are just in the wrong places or unnecessary. And I think the whole thing is unnecessary. I think they don't need to exist. People would argue that they're there to stop people from cutting corners. But again... <sighs> If, if a driver cuts a corner, you give them a time penalty. It's that simple. You don't need to put a physical object there to stop them from doing it that causes them to go airborne and that causes horrific accidents. So I think that maybe there needs to be um, a rectification of that. Uh, who knows what can happen, really? But again, let us know in the comments. Do you agree or disagree with the use of sausage curbs? And do you think they should be completely scrapped? And uh, you think the FIA on circuits need to come up with better ideas but uh, do let us know and yeah let us know your opinions on that one but